Hello, welcome back. Now today we've got a curry sauce mix. We did a chip shop curry sauce mix that was sent by Stuart and it was really good proper chip shop curry sauce. It was powder, you just mixed it with water and heated it up and you got your chip shop curry sauce. It even had the little bits of apple in. Check that video out. It's all a few weeks ago now. So this one I mentioned on the uh, live stream all oh, ages ago. And we were talking about curry sauce mixes. And I think it was actually chip shop curry sauce. I was moaning saying I couldn't get the decent one that we could make at home. And then somebody said, oh, have you tried Irish curry? Well, I thought they were pulling me a leg. Irish curry, never heard of it. And it is a thing. And Stuart sent me this. Hmm, Irish curry sauce mix. And you basically do the same. You mix it with water and then it says bring to the boil and simmer for two to three minutes. I'm going to do it in the microwave again because it works perfect with the chip shop curry. I have got to cut back on the quantities because it's telling me how to make the whole bag up. Uh, so I'm assuming it's like, is it a chip shop thing where they make a load of it? You should be able to find this, I would imagine, on Amazon. If you type it in, it's Diner Class Irish Curry Sauce Mix. Um... I don't know, never had it, so I don't know what to expect. I'm going to make it up and we'll come back and we'll see if it's any good. Do I like Irish curry sauce mix? Cheers, Stuart, and I'll catch you in a moment. So, did it in the microwave. It does take a while because you, obviously you can't constantly stir it like it tells you to, so... It may be better doing this one on the hob, but it has come out fine, as far as I can see. Bit darker than the chip shop curry, and it smells different to the chip shop curry as well. Consistency is not too bad. Steaming up, it smells quite nice. So, do you like a little bit of kitchen towel there, look? Just so you can see the contrast of the, the yellow from the curry sauce. Because if it was on the chopping board without that, it just vanish into the background. So let's go to the table and let's see what does Irish curry taste like? Right then, now I don't know if Irish curry, obviously this is from a place that supplies chip shops I imagine. So, mm, never seen it in chip shops around here, only just normal chip shop curry. So I assume it's a thing that you're getting your chippies and not just like, it's obviously not a proper curry, like a takeaway curry and that, so. I'm assuming it's something that you just buy a little carton of with your chips. No idea. But anyway, Diner Class Irish Curry. Now I have to say, smell-wise, it smells like a lot of the stuff that I've complained about saying, that says it's chip shop curry. And it's not. Mmm. We've done one from Tesco's, the uh, Heat and Enjoy range, which was supposed to be chip shop curry. And I said, it's similar. But it's not. And there's a couple of other things that I've done. And I've said, it's similar, but it's not. That's what this smells like. I'm wondering if a lot of these places that do these chip shop curry flavoured things, like chip shop chicken curry is the in thing at the minute. You get them in pre-packed meals, you get them in tins. And I'm wondering if it's actually Irish curry. The Irish curry powder that they made it with. And not what I class as proper chip shop curry. That's what this smells like. So let's see what it tastes like. I hope it's not too hot and it's not going to burn me gob. It does smell similar to them. Definitely not chip shop curry. There is actually more to this than chip shop curry. There's a more spicy, not heat wise, but more spicy flavour coming through. And it is also more spicy, like chilli-wise as well. At the back of my throat there, just a little bit coming through. It's almost like, and I've said it before, and I think I said it, on the Tesco's uh, chip shop chicken curry, their heat and enjoy range, uh, pre is like a chilled one. And I think I said it on there, that that tasted like you'd mixed chip shop curry with Chinese curry and that's what you got that's what this tastes like it's like you've mixed a chip shop curry and a Chinese curry mix them together and maybe 
added a bit of not honey but something to sweeten it because this is a it's slightly sweet this it's got a bit of sweetness going on in my chops so first off if you are looking at buying this i'm looking now and it's on ebay uh and it's eight pound eight pound for 500 grams and that is for this one i have got another one as well to do which is i don't know if it's slightly different or if it's exactly the same um stuart if you watch this let me know because stuart sent that one as well cheers stuart there's the green bag which is this one and there's one in a brown bag if you know any difference to it let me know are they the same or are they different um so it's actually if you go i don't know if you can actually order this online because it's down as a butcher's i've got it uh yes you can get it from bromfields that's B-R-O-M-F-I-E-L-D-S. Bromfields, the family butchers. And it's £4 for 500 grams. Uh, you will have to add your shipping to that. I don't know what that'll be. But you can get it online. So if you type in Dinah Class Irish Curry Sauce, you'll find it. So rating on that one. It's a thumbs up it's a thumbs up it's nice it's spicy enough there's a bit of heat at the back of the throat and like i said taste wise it's almost like you've mixed the chip shop curry with a chinese curry that's the flavor you're getting you're picking up the spices the night it's i think it's mainly curry powder they use you can tell with the color of the powder and the smell and the taste that it's got that curry powder smell to it so there's going to be a load of different spices in it is there a but to that i would say for me personally i would say so yes there is a but that it is a bit sweet for me but i i don't eat much sweet stuff uh, sweets sugars cakes I, I don't eat a lot so i tend to pick up the sweetness more there is sugar in this and it, i think it's it, it, it comes through a bit sweet but not overly sweet i can just tell it's there so if you don't like sweet curry sauces you may not like it if you like chip shop curry sauce you like chinese curry sauce you should like it because it's like the two mixed together and I would love that. I'd love it if I had that on chips. Yeah, it, it'd be banging with some chips. Battered sausage chips and this curry sauce over it. Oh, now you're talking. So there you go. Thumbs up. One slight but for me, it's it, there is a bit of sweetness to it. But that's, you know, it doesn't detract or ruin it. It's, you know, I suppose it's about the right amount. But I just don't eat a lot of sweet stuff, so I pick up on it more. If you like the sounds of this, get online and order it. Because it's easy to do. If you do it on a on the hob in a saucepan it's, it's literally like mm -hmm, five minutes five six minutes as soon as you bring it to the boil you turn it down simmer it for two to three minutes and it's done if you order it it's a 500 gram bag uh and you add two liters of water to that if you weren't skiving off school and you went to school and you did mass you just divide it by 10 that's it 50 grams to 200 mils of water i've done some working out uh, and that's it and you've got enough to pour over your chips jobs are good in cheers for sending us that Stuart and again Stuart let me know is the brown bag the same as this that's in the green bag or is it supposed to be different and if so how is it different let me know everybody else drop your comments in do you like the looks and the sounds of this are you going to get some of this I recommend you do because it's nice be banging over your chips and battered sausage Oh, yeah, it's making me hungry. Subscribe if you're not, it's free. And don't forget to click the thumbs up on your way out if you've not already done it. Helps the channel, and we'll catch you on another one. There's a bit left in here, and I'm just going to eat it off the spoon, because it's nice. See you later.